So today's video I thought we would make kind of a fun video today and talk about some really interesting facts about golden retrievers. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back to the Pet Parenting Reset. I'm Jessica, if you're new here, I'm a pet parent coach and positive reinforcement dog trainer and on this channel we talk about all things dog training, behavior, cat behavior, cat and dog enrichment and nutrition. All the things to make sure your pet is living their happiest, healthiest life. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. But today we're talking about golden retriever. So this is kind of a fun video idea that I haven't done another video like this in the past, so we'll see how it goes. If you like it, you really have to make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment. Let me know you like it so I can do more videos like this because this is a little bit different for me. So the reason that I decided to do this video is because my sister back in Virginia, her husband, when they got married, had a golden and they just recently adopted their second. So golden retrievers seem to be their thing. And what's really cute is that one of them is like the traditional golden color and the other one is more of like a white, white blonde. Really beautiful, she's, she's gorgeous. And I'm really happy, they, they absolutely love each other. The dogs are fat, they were fast friends right from the start. And I decided it would be fun to learn a little bit more about goldens because they are one of the most popular breeds. I mean, if you look around, Goldens are everywhere. They're in TV shows and commercials. They're on billboards. I mean, movies have been made <laughs> about golden retrievers. This is, I mean, it, this is a breed that you see everywhere. Something you may not know is that there are actually three different types of golden retrievers. There are American golden retrievers, there are Canadian golden retrievers, and there are British golden retrievers. Now, the average person is probably not going to notice the difference. The differences in the American, British, and Canadian Golden Retrievers are very, very subtle. Of course, we see different coat colors, and that doesn't necessarily mean they're one or the other. There are varying coat colors in all of them, but let's talk about some more fun facts about Golden Retrievers. So according to the American Kennel Club, out of the 196 breeds that are registered of dogs, Golden Retrievers are number three on the list for most popular. They are also the most photographed, the most videoed, and the most written about breed in the history of dogs and humans. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the three different types of Golden Retrievers. The American Golden Retriever, we'll talk about them first. So the American Golden Retriever has varying shades of coats from blonde all the way to red. Now I was telling you earlier that my sister's two dogs, she definitely has a blonde and the, the Moses, the golden that her husband had when they met, he's definitely more of a red. Their coat is dense and it's not coarse and it's not silky, it's somewhere in between. The average male American Golden is 23 to 24 inches tall, whereas the female, American Golden is 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches tall. And their coat is going to lie very close to the body with a few exceptions around their neck is one of them, their thighs and their tail. That's where it kind of gets a little fluffier. So the Canadian Golden Retriever, let's talk about the Canadian Golden Retriever. Their coat is gonna be a little shorter and thinner than the American Golden. And their coat is not wiry, though it's also not silky, somewhere in between, but it also doesn't feather. The Canadian Golden is about the same height. So the males are gonna be about 23 to 24 inches and the females are gonna be 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches. So that's where they are the same. It's just a little bit different in their coat. So the British Golden Retriever, also called the English Golden Retriever, they're still going to have these long, almost silky and feathery coats, very much like you think of when you think of a golden retriever, but they're gonna be a little bit smaller. Also, the British golden retrievers are usually more of a cream color. So I said they were gonna be a little bit smaller. Males are gonna be roughly 22 to 24 inches, and the females are gonna be 20 to 22 inches. So they're just gonna be, I mean, ever so slightly smaller than the American and the Canadian Goldens. Okay, so here are five fun facts about Golden Retrievers. Golden Retrievers actually came from Scotland. 
So golden retrievers are workers. They have incredible work ethic. They of course were originally bred to be easy to train and eager to please. They're calm and sensible, so people often use them as hunting dogs. They are great in obedience competitions. They're good hunters. They're great tracking dogs. They're also really great show dogs. They make excellent service dogs, guide dogs, seeing eye dogs, and also really good search and rescue. Number three, golden retrievers are exceptional when it comes to being eager to please, which is again why they make such great obedience training partners and do really, really well in obedience competitions. In fact, the first three champions in the AKC obedience trials were all golden retrievers. Another thing, number four, you may not know about golden retrievers is that they really require a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot of exercise. If you have a golden retriever who is bored, who is not getting enough exercise, this almost always leads to weight gain in the breed. They need at least one good, long walk, jog, hike, something every single day. And in addition to that, they need to play, fetch, retrieve, they're golden retrievers after all. Fetching and retrieving, these are some really great games that your golden is going to want and need to play every single day. And number five, I just said they're retrievers after all, but the fact is that not all golden retrievers are gonna to wanna to do that. It is important to remember that every dog is an individual. And while yes, they have been bred for centuries, um, almost two centuries now, <laughs> to retrieve, if you want your golden to actually perform the duty of retrieving, it is important to start that behavior training at a very young age. While many dogs enjoy fetch um, and retrieving, goldens are really, really good at it, but if it is something you really want them to be good at, if you want them to compete at it, if you want uh, a show dog, these are the kind of things you really need to start training at a very young age. Again, because every dog is an individual and there are gonna be golden retrievers out there who do not like to retrieve and that's just, that's just how life goes. So I hope this video was fun and educational. Goldens are awesome and I thought because my sister just got her second, it would be fun to put this kind of video together. If you have a golden, I would love to know about it, even if you don't and you just happen to love goldens, comment below and let me know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Couple of other reminders. One is to join me on Patreon. It's the very first link in the description. Patreon is really cool because you get the content you sign up for. You can join for as little as a dollar a month. It helps me to continue to bring content like this to you and then in return you get new content, exclusive content behind the scenes. It's like a tiny, it, it, it's a close-knit family over there. I share things on Patreon that I don't share anywhere else. And that is some of the really awesome stuff that you get for joining. And again, it can be for as little as a dollar a month. And of course, make sure you are following the podcast. If you haven't already started listening, why not? You can get it anywhere. You already get your podcast, Spotify, Apple, Google, all the places. Check it wh wherever you go, wherever your podcast app you use, search the Pet Parenting Reset. When you find it, make sure you follow and start listening to the episodes. If you also take a moment and rate it. Thank you so much. I would very much appreciate it. That's how we can get the podcast out to more and more people. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure to give your pet some extra love from me today. Until next time, bye guys.